Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play on Echan Mara. I'm your host TBC Gamer, and today I'm showing off the game's DLC characters, beginning with Reiko. Because of course Reiko is a playable character. She's like the unofficial third member of the team. In fact, she's the only character, aside from Ayan Saki, who has been in every Oni Chambara game. She's like D3's version of Luigi in that respect. They keep using her as a secondary template character. Like she's been in Party Girls, Heartbeat Boxing, All-Star Fighters, and a couple of others I can get. So this is pretty much the same model and mechanics we saw while we were fighting her. Right down to the, frankly, ludicrous jiggle physics. In fact, she has the same ridiculous wobble thing that Anna does. <laughs> That's so stupid. Mechanically, Reiko plays very much like Aya, but instead of throwing knives, she has a shotgun. And basically, Reiko is how I wanted Anna to play. She has the sword for close range combat and the guns for long range. And short range, if you're feeling sadistic. She does have a severely restricted moveset, though. She can't do the Stinger, and her cool combo is only, like, six hits long? It's one of the shortest in the game, and it's to stop you from taking her into the Blood Room. Don't know why they do that. Reiko does have one advantage, because her Empress Dance, the attack where you swing the sword wildly to just wade through a crowd, you can combo that infinitely. And it's a programming oversight, because the other characters who can do it automatically end it after ten blows, but Reiko can keep going forever. I accidentally got the achievement doing that. Now her ecstasy attack could do with some tweaking. I can't aim any of these shotgun blasts. But I'm invincible while I do it, so who cares, you know? Reiko's a badass. If I, if I was gonna do free play for these videos, I would have gone with Saki and Reiko. I mean, that right there, that is the team with which I am the best. Even though, as you've seen, I didn't fully level her up yet. Now our second DLC character is Misery. And it's equal parts good and bad to see they gave her jiggle physics, because you really don't see those when you're fighting her when she's a boss character. <laughs> Misery's main appeal is her reach. Even at its shortest, it's pretty long, especially when you factor in some of her attacks. She has a really short cool combo, but it's more than made up by the fact that she can reach across pretty much any arena with deadly results. She has kick moves, of course. Actually, so does Reiko, but I think I forgot to show those. Oh well, too late now! Ah! Now you guys will do. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, her long range attack is pretty ridiculous. You can absolutely tell she was meant to have Eva's sword from the previous game. The fact that she can do stupid things like that. And that's her ecstasy move. You begin by launching two beams at once, but you can upgrade it until, like me, you shoot six at once. And it's one of my favorite attacks, because if you could hit bosses with it, those bosses die. Especially if they're big models like Legion or Olga. As you can see though, Misery is really slow. I don't know how much slower she is than the others, or even if it's because she looks slow because she's dragging a huge sword behind her, but she's slow. And if the game were timed in any way, that would probably mean something. It's kind of fun doing that long range sword thing on the gun wielding enemies, because that attack takes priority over the bullets so you'll often see the enemies shoot sideways or backwards. And that's her taunt. I don't know what she says, so I choose to hear, I'm not gonna fight you, I'm gonna kick your ass. Because I'm childish like that. Speaking of, right, I want to laugh every time Misery talks during the combat. Because she is one of two characters who does it, but, I mean, she'll often talk to the enemies as she kills them or as she moves in certain ways. I mean, you probably heard her shout, ORA! As she does a 180 turn. And that's her suicide attack, that huge blood aura thing. 
I forget if she actually does that when you fight her as a boss, but whatever. It does a huge amount of damage with a huge reach. And it's handy if you don't mind the knock to your health. And that's Misery, one of the DLC characters who's pretty handy, all told. I wonder who the third one is. Of course, it's Himiko's ridiculous boobs. Come on, game. That was worse than Anna. That's what you get for wearing a fundoshi. Which, again, surprisingly clever character design, because that's what old lady Himiko would have been wearing when she transformed. So as well as your sword attacks, you have kick attacks, which I probably should have shown off on an enemy consistently tall enough to get hit by them, but whatever. You dash for your long-range attack, and you can't charge that, which is a shame, but as you've seen, you can combo in and out of it. Get up! There we go. So Himiko is the most unique of the three DLC characters. She doesn't need to clean the blood off her sword because it is made of blood. And she's the only character in the DLC pack who has a stance change. I don't remember seeing these twin sides in her boss fight, but... Do you know what? I am not gonna complain, because... I mean, friggin' look at it! It's pretty awesome! Oh, and you can throw them. That's just super. Speaking of, though, her ecstasy move lets her down a little bit. Because, I mean, this is just a standard move repeated a couple of times over. Unlike Anna and Reiko, though, you can't angle that, so that is a huge, huge bonus. And you know, I don't know if it's just me, but Himiko is hugely talkative, perhaps the most of all the characters. I mean, way more than Misery is, definitely. It's not as fun as Misery, though, because some of Misery's voice clips are just laughter or frantic screaming, which... Again, it kind of cements that that girl ain't right. One of Himiko's main drawbacks, probably the only drawback, I think, she can't do the swallow dance. Her dodge roll is that little pirouette thing you've seen, which is great for dodging enemy attacks, but it doesn't combo into a counter attack. Oh, she can't do that, though. <laughs> it's the same suicide attack as Misery, but... It has more power, and it covers a wider range. And I think that's all of her moves. Unless I'm forgetting something. Himiko doesn't have the Blood Ball attack like you saw in the final boss fight, and thanks for demoing the lack of proper dodge mechanics, guy. Yeah, Himiko can't do the Blood Ball attack, and neither can Reiko for that matter. I suppose it would make sense, basically, because... I mean, they'd have to tweak the behavior on the Blood Ball to have it seek an enemy, rather than just track the player. Alright, that screaming is pretty cool. That's well played, I like that. Himiko is the absolute strongest of the DLC characters, but at the moment she's not doing as much damage as the other two, because I haven't powered her up nearly enough. I love that laugh as well. That is a good one. It's kind of a shame, really. You can only use these guys in free play and survival mode, and to unlock the good levels, you have to complete them in story mode. Oh, I also love how Misery makes little cartoon footsteps as she runs, because she's the only one who's barefoot. Little touches, you know? Finishing off my thought, to level up the DLC characters, you need to play story mode without using them. So you sink all your time into powering up Aya and Saki, or even Anna, if you feel the need, and then you have to do it all over again with the three other characters? That's a bit of a shame. Oh, but that isn't, though. Did you see that? A girl ain't right. Bam! And did you see that? Told you, if you can get close enough with Misery's Blade Beam, the boss is just... Die. In one. And speaking of which, I'm gonna do this move again. If the guy will let me. There we go! So, yeah, I think that's a pretty decent rundown of the DLC characters. And enough of this game's bonus content, I feel. So... 
Join us next time for something else. And I'm just gonna level up my vitality, I think, gets him more health. And until next time, goodbye!